Hello everybody and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video we're going to show you how to set up the PT Booth A1 Plus Admin for the photo booth only mode with the Canon camera and a web camera. In this mode PT Booth A1 Plus will take photos using the Canon camera. It will print photos using the default printer that is available on your computer and it will record video during the photo sessions using the web camera. In this video, we will show you how to set up the PT Booth Admin with the following parameters. We'll set it to record video during the photo sessions. We'll have additional copies of all the photos saved in one folder. Four photos per session. Step 4 and Step 5 is on. A display of the number of prints on the welcome screen. We will use the default photo strip template. We will print one copy per session. In this case, it's one 4x6 print. We'll use the sample logo provided with the PT Booth package. We'll enable the black and white or color printing choice. We will use the PDF converted to JPEG option. And we'll use the wide 1280x768 resolution red color English skin. In order to use this functionality, the following is required. Your printer must be set as a default printer, connected and powered on. A supported Canon camera must be connected and powered on. A web camera must be connected. The logo for the print template must be ready to go. The screen resolution must be set according to your skin selection. To begin the setup, simply open the PT Booth Admin application. We'll start with the Main Settings and Camera Source tab. Select the Canon and Web Camera. You'll need to check the box, Enable Video Recording During Photo Sessions. Once that box is checked, the video will be recorded during each photo session and saved into a separate folder for your convenience. If the video recording during the photo sessions is not enabled, the PT Booth will take photos only. In PT Booth A1 Plus, we have implemented an additional option to save the photos. If you want to utilize this option, you'll need to check the box, Create Additional Folder with Copy of All Pictures, and specify the location on your computer where you'll want this folder to be saved. As a result, you'll have two pictures folders created. One will be the default where the original photos will be saved, and the other one will be the additional folder where the copies of all the photos will be saved. This is really useful if you're using a third-party social media software or simply want to have all the photos saved without any individual take folders. Watch our video tutorial about the additional method to save photos where we explain the functionality and options in great detail. Specify the location where you wish to store the photos. You just simply click on the folder icon and specify the location of where you want to store your files. We do recommend the desktop because it's very easy to find and you'll be able to see all of your files every time you see the desktop. You won't have to search around and it will save you some time. Specify the location where you wish to store a copy of the photos. Specify the location where you wish to store video type 1 files. Specify the location where you wish to store the PDF files. Be sure to click on the Save Your Settings button. Wait till you see the confirmation message before you move on. Next is the General Settings tab. Step 4 and 5 is on. Select the number of prints on the welcome screen. Select 4 photos per session. Select 
set the date. And here's something we really wanted to point out, that the event name folder and the event name reports must be identical. So whatever you type in for one has to be the same for the other here, and that is a critical thing to know. Now the event name fields usually will specify the type of event you're doing. And again, these are two fields, both the folder and the reports need to be named identically. So if you're doing a wedding, you may want to just use the word wedding. The next field is the operator field, and of course you'll just simply want to put whoever is operating the photo booth for the event. Be sure to click on the Save Your Settings button. Wait till you see the confirmation message before you move on. Next is the Printing Settings tab. In this tutorial, we'll use a standard photo strip template that includes two strips positioned on 4x6 media. Each strip has four photos, a logo, text, and a take number. Choose the photo strip template from the default print templates menu. It is D07. Specify the custom text on the strip. In the default print template that we are using, the admin text is included, so we'll use it to display our website address. Specify the location of the logo file. Our default print template has two logos designated as Admin Logo 1 and Admin Logo 2. Now keep in mind we are using the print template D07. We'll use the sample logo provided with a PT Booth package. So as we go into the folder, we're going to go ahead and select the logo with that exact same name, D07. If you want to create your own logo, you can use the provided Photoshop logo templates. Make sure to use the Photoshop logo template with the same name as your print template. Read the default print template descriptions file to find out what elements are present inside a particular default print template. Set the color and black and white printing option. Set the number of copies that will be printed per session. Next is our Print Template Position section. Print Zoom, Offset Width and Height is used to align your template position for your perfect printing results. Now each printer has its own alignment settings. You can define a Print Zoom, Offset Width and Height that will produce a perfect match of your print template and your printer media. We recommend that you use a test grid to determine if your printer needs any print zoom, offset width, and offset height adjustments. For more information, you can watch our video tutorials on how to determine the values using the provided test grids. And one of the things that we recommend is to leave the default numbers in place on your first print and then make your adjustments from there. Be sure to click on the Save Your Settings button. Wait till you see the confirmation message before you move on. Next is the PDF Printing Settings tab. Let's take a look at the PDF Printing Settings. Just a reminder, if you use the PDF printing, it will create an exact copy of what the printer is printing. So instead of saving individual photos, it'll save the layout of your print template. For example, if you're using the Photostrip PDF printing, it will produce an exact copy of what the Photostrip looks like, including any logos or text. Enable PDF printing. Set it for 150 DPI PDF resolution. Set the PDF default rendering option. Enable the PDF to JPEG conversion. In PT Booth A1 Plus, we've implemented an option that allows you to convert your PDF files to JPEG files. Now this option is pretty cut and dry. If you check the box that says Enable PDF to JPEG conversion, all of your PDF files will automatically be converted to a JPEG file format. This option is pretty handy if you're planning to post your prints on the web. Be sure to click on the Save Your Settings button. Wait till you see the confirmation message before you move on. 
Next is the Webcam Settings tab. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the web camera settings. Choose the desired web camera from the drop down list in the source field. Set the desired video resolution. If your camera does not have a built in video compressor, you can select a video compressor that you have installed in your system. Use the native video format if your camera has a built-in video compressor. For example, the Logitech C920 has a built-in video compressor. Set the compression type. You can choose what you'd want the PT booth to compress. Video only, audio only, video and audio. Note when the camera native video is selected, the compression type will be set automatically. Set the video format. We recommend using the WMV video format. Choose the desired microphone from the drop down list in the source field. Set your microphone master volume. You will be able to adjust the audio normalization later. Make sure you read the article on how to set up your audio normalization setting on www.ptbooth.com. Select your audio compressor from the list of audio compressors installed on your computer. We recommend Monogram AAC Audio Compressor. Click Save Your Settings. After your web camera video and audio settings are set, we recommend that you perform a video recording test just to make sure you're satisfied with the settings. To begin a video recording test, click on the Start Video Recording Test button. Name your test video and specify the location where you want to store that test video. During the test video recording, pay close attention to your audio levels and live feed. Usually 30 to 40 seconds is enough time to determine if your video and audio settings are meeting your expectations. Press the Stop Video Recording Test button and watch your recorded test video. If you need to, you can make any necessary adjustments. Now all required web camera settings have been set and you can click Save Your Settings and wait until you see the confirmation message before moving on. Next is the Canon Camera Settings tab. Your camera settings will depend on you and your preferences, of course, and we're not experts. However, if you are using a supported Canon EOS camera, make sure the following settings are set. For the size, you'll want small, quality, normal, drive mode in single frame, AF mode in manual focus, and these settings are very critical with the EOS cameras. Once you're done with your settings, make sure to click on Set Camera Settings. Next is the Skins Settings tab. We will set a skin setting for this video tutorial. We will use a wide 1280 by 768 resolution red color English skin. As you can see, the skins provided with PT Booth A1 Plus are now separated by three different color schemes, three languages, and screen resolution. It's important here to note that you can choose your own skin setting, and to learn how to do this, you can watch our separate video tutorial that explains exactly how to do this. Be sure to click on Apply Selected Skin and wait until you see the confirmation message before you move on. Close the PT Booth Admin. Now all the necessary settings have been set and your PT Booth A1 Plus software is ready to be used. In addition to these necessary settings, there are additional features and functionalities that PT Booth A1 Plus software offers. Additional features and functionalities can be accessed and utilized by accessing the optional settings and or the fine tuning your existing settings. Optional settings include custom manual countdown,
external monitor display, and maintenance screens. You can fine tune the following settings. The number of photos per session, the choice of print templates, choice of black and white and or color prints, setting the number of copies printed per session, print template alignment with the printer, displaying the number of sessions on the welcome screen or displaying the number of prints on the welcome screen, your choice of skin color, choice of language, convert PDF to JPEG images, choice of the PT Booth workflow step 4 and 5 on and off, timing for the printing screen, and video and audio settings. Customization options. You can create custom print templates as well as custom skins. Now all the necessary settings have been set and your PT Booth A1 Plus software is ready to be used. Now your PT Booth software is ready to be launched for the first time. Before using the PT Booth software, we recommend that you read the article called How to Avoid Errors When Using PT Booth. And you can find this article on our website, www.ptbooth.com. To launch the software, simply click on the PT Booth application icon. Now it's important to point out here to click on this icon only one time and then just wait. Uh, it may take a few moments as the software goes in and reads the settings that you've put in uh, when you were setting up your admin. So don't worry about that. Just be patient and everything will come up. Now here's something that's very important to mention. After you've launched the PTBoost software, you will see a Windows Security Alert window pop up. Don't worry about this. This is very standard Windows protocol when any software requires some changes in the Windows system. You're going to see two options here. And what you want to do is select the one that says Private Networks such as My Home or Work Network. So just check the box and click on Allow Access. Now this window security alert will come up only one time during your first time run of the PT Booth software. Now the welcome screen is up, which means that PT Booth is operational and ready to be used. Watch the screen as we show you the 2015 version of PT Booth A1 Plus custom photo booth software in action.
make sure to read our how-to articles on www.ptbooth.com for a more in-depth explanation about the features and functionalities that the PT Booth Custom Photo Booth software offers. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial, and for more information, please visit our website and YouTube channel. Uh -huh.